Recently, Joe Biden was elected to take charge at the Oval Office. Now facing civilian life, Donald Trump will be looking at his various costs over his term as President of the United States, some of which are hundreds of millions of dollars. Today, we're going to see just what the 45th president spent his money on during his four-year term. We won't be looking at any costs he spent before he moved to the White House, but we'll even see what areas of his life he splashed taxpayers' money on, including the incredible Secret Service fees that he recently extended to his family. So let's get started. When Donald Trump first took office, the president and the Republican Party began to stash away cash for his re-election campaign. From 2017 to 2019, they managed to raise $1.1 billion, a massive increase from Trump's campaign back in 2016. Then he raised $340 million, with $66 million of his own money being plowed into his campaign, while Hillary Clinton and the Democrats had about $581 million. However, from 2019 to July 2020, Trump's campaign spent a startling, ready, $800 million. Many in the Trump camp were worried about the lack of funds as the election against Joe Biden was closing in. According to the New York Times, around $350 million was spent on searching for donors as part of their fundraising campaign. Around $100 million was splashed out on advertisements, including ads Trump featured during the 2020 Super Bowl. That's money well spent. That alone cost $11 million. Due to the sharp decrease in money available, in late August 2020, Trump's team only spent $4.8 million on TV advertisements, while Biden's team spent $35.9 million. According to some reports, $310 million of the $800 million that was spent is hidden via the use of limited liability companies. Back in 2016, Trump actually used the campaign fund to pay his own businesses, which included rent for the campaign offices, food and facilities, facilities, as well as wages for corporate staff. Altogether, it amounted to $8.2 million. During his 2016 election campaign, Trump made a promise that he would donate his presidential salary to various causes. After all, he would later be the first billionaire president in United States history. His real estate portfolio in New York City alone is said to amount to more than $1 billion. As commander-in-chief, Trump would be paid a base salary of $400,000 per year. However, there have been a number of reported instances over the years of Trump unwilling to donate money after pledging to do so. Yet this time, he followed through with his promise. In 2017, he donated the first three months of his salary to the National Park Service. He also donated a quarter of his annual salary to other services over the years, like the Department of Education, the Department of Agriculture, and more. In late 2019, he donated $100,000 of his presidential salary to the Department of Health and Human Services to aid them in their battle against recent global events. This isn't the only time the 45th president of the U.S. has donated money to good causes. In 2017, he handed over $1 million of his own money to a number of charities that were helping Houston, Texas recover after Hurricane Harvey. Altogether, 12 nonprofit organizations had the money split between them, with the American Red Cross and the Salvation Army receiving the biggest share of $300,000 each. All the way back in 1977, Trump married Czech Republic model Ivana. They would have three children together, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric Trump. Yet by 1992, the two were divorced. It was a very public fallout at the time. As part of the divorce, Ivana received a reported lump sum of $10 million, ownership of an apartment in Trump Plaza, and use of the Mar-a-Lago mansion one month per year. She would also own their Greenwich mansion. However, if the property was sold before the divorce was finalized, Ivana would be handed a further $12 million at the time. On top of this, she would also receive alimony of $650,000 per year, $350,000 for herself, and a further $300,000 for child support. To this day, Ivana is said to still be getting that $350,000 per year. Over the course of his presidency, that means Ivana received $1.4 million from Trump. Trump is also spending a lot of cash for his children's education. After moving to Washington, Trump's son Barron was moved to the private school St. Andrew's Episcopal School in Maryland. Beforehand, Barron was enrolled at Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School, also private. Both of these facilities cost Trump $40,000 per year to send his son to. In May 2020, Tiffany, Trump's daughter with second wife Marla Maples, graduated from Georgetown Law School. The entry-level course that lasts three years costs at least $66,872 per year for this current academic year while the more advanced law courses start at $69,050 per year. Further estimates, including rent, books, and so on, increase the cost to around $100,000 each year. 
Now that he's no longer president, Trump will have a mountain of debt to deal with. Altogether, Trump has amassed $1.1 billion in debt, most of which is linked to his commercial real estate properties and golf courses. If Trump had been re-elected, around $900 million would have been due for payment over that term. One of Trump's prized properties is 1290 Avenue of the Americas in New York City. This office building is said to currently have a loan due that amounts to $285 million. Another huge office block that Trump owns is 555 California Street in San Francisco. Trump has a loan bill from the property of as much as $162 million. The Deutsche Bank has been one of the most prominent lenders to Trump. They've helped finance his various businesses via loans. Trump owes the bank $340 million. The former president took out loans on a number of his commercial properties. These loans were then packaged up and sold to a securities trust. These loans amount to 257 million pounds. There's a further debt of 25 million due to banks and an asset merger. There's also a strange loan that Trump owns himself for a couple of properties in Chicago. This debt is for $50 million. Altogether, Trump is said to own assets that give an estimated total value of $3.66 billion. Yet with the debt, Trump's net worth is stated to be $2.5 billion altogether. Prior to leading America, Donald Trump was a big fan of golf, both playing and owning a number of golf resorts and courses. During his reign as president, he visited golf courses numerous times. Even when the media declared Joe Biden as the 46th president, Trump was at the Trump National Golf Club in Virginia playing around the sport. According to the website TrumpGolfCount.com, Trump has visited courses 298 times through his four-year presidency. Barack Obama, on the other hand, when he was in charge for eight years, Obama went golfing 306 times, according to the website. In November 2020, Forbes posted an article that examined Trump's golf time. According to them, Trump's trips cost the taxpayers a whopping $142 million. This includes Trump's visit to Mar-a-Lago that he owns. By using Air Force One, Trump cost the taxpayers $59 million in air fees. In 2017, the U.S. taxpayers were stuck with the cost for Trump's visits to Mar-a-Lago. The airfare alone cost $6.6 .6 million through the year. For comparison, for Obama's tenure, the taxpayers were charged $96.9 .9 million for travel fees for the Obama family over the full eight years. Due to the former President's Act, those that used to head the U.S. are entitled to a lifetime of protection from the Secret Service. This also extends to their spouse and children under the age of 16 years. For Trump, this would currently cover himself, his wife Melania, and their 14-year-old son Barron. In Trump's final days in the Oval Office, he extended his clause for his adult family as well. At least for those that had been receiving taxpayer-covered cost of the Secret Service while he was in power. This new directive would cover Ivanka, her husband Jared Kushner, and their three children, Donald Jr. and his five children, Eric and his wife Lara, and their two children. This new directive is set to last for the next six months. A number of presidents such as Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama have had similar directives after leaving the White House. However, this is the first time that it's been done for so many people. The cost of this is said to amount to millions of dollars to the U.S. taxpayers. The exact cost is unknown due to where the families travel. But for an idea, for Trump's travels to Mar-a-Lago in 2017, each visit cost $1.3 million for the Secret Service alone. Final fact finish. Not only is Trump spending millions, but he's also made millions while he was president. In June 2019, Trump sold his mansion in Beverly Hills, California. He first purchased it in 2007 for $7 million. The five-bedroom, six-bathroom house was sold for a pretty profit of $13.5 million. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.